So this video is about setting up drum notation to appear um, in the format used by Berklee College of Music and how to set that up and also how to choose that if you've already got it set up. Okay, so the first thing to remember is that um, uh, Berkeley uses a two-layer drum system where um, the things played with the feet is in layer two with stems down and the things played with the hands is in layer one with stems up. If you don't understand about layers, um, I'm not going to be able to go into that in great detail in this in this particular video, but I will tell you this much that, um, if I just erase this for a minute, that if I'm in layer one, as you can tell here, <clears throat> um, anything I put in will be black, and it will be, the stems will go upward, uh, well, initially they'll go down until you, um, until you uh, add an extra layer like that. And then if I <clears throat> switch layers to layer two, and I put something in down here, like say a drum quarter note right there, you'll see that automatically the uh, layer one goes up. So you have to enter the parts separately in the, in the different layers. Okay. Uh, but <clears throat> Finale comes with a, a drum map that puts drums in different places and it comes loaded with all kinds of drums. And often we don't want to have so many drums because it takes so long to find the right one. Uh, and then if you're doing Berkeley drums, we use different symbols for some of them. So um, the best way is to set it up the first time and then um, <clears throat> save that uh, template that includes those uh, correctly formatted drums and then just choose it whenever you have a new document. So, But if you're starting from scratch, what you would do is you go to the staff tool and you click on this handle here for this uh, for the drum staff and you if you have if you are able to get from a previous um, document uh, Berkeley drum mapping uh, you can just go here and say select percussion layout and then scroll down and find one of those and and the ones that are currently available are think say things like uh, kick, drum, snare, hi-hat, they list all the drums and they end with the, you know, this one ends with the word main. They all begin with the word kick. If you don't have access to that, um, then you have to build one. But if I just chose that, you'll see what happens. Now all my formatting changes to the correct one. If you need to build it though, what you do is you click on that and you say, select percussion layout and you choose you don't have these to choose so all you're left with is the the original one that comes with the finale which is called drum set what you do is you duplicate that and then you edit it and you give it a different name like berkeley drum set or uh, or whatever you want to call it and then um, you go through the various drums change them as needed so here's the hi-hat closed and we know that berkeley puts the hi-hat on the top space so we do that and Hi-hat open is also in the top space, so we go over and we drag that down to there. And the hi-hat foot in Berkeley's drum set is there. And I'm not going to bother with the hi-hat splash right now. I'm just going to do the main ones. The ride symbol in Berkeley is up here. The ride bell, I might want to use that, so I'll bring that up. It's in the same place. You would just label it differently. Snare drum is, is already in the right place. That's good. Cross stick uses a different symbol, so this is a good one to know about. Uh, so if you want to change the symbol, this is where you, ch you change that. See, snare cross stick, and you select the symbol you want. Now right now it's got the circled uh, note head, but we for Berkeley's thing we use a cr um, an X note head. So you just um, look for that X note head. There it is. There's a couple of choices. You just pick the one you like, say OK. So now... Um, my cross stick will be an X note head. Um, the, the toms and everything are, are all in different places in Berkeley. I'm not going to take the time to move them all right now, but just so you know that. And um, what else do we need? Kick drum's already in the right place. Um, I think that's probably enough for now. So I've now programmed a Berkeley. Um, format, at least for some of the drums. So as I say, okay. And now there it is. And now all I have to do is choose. I select that and it will put my drums in the right place. So again, if I, if it wasn't in the right place, it would look like something like, um, you know, the original thing, which was the one that's just called drums, drum set. 
and it would look like this. But when I select the one that I programmed, it will look, everything will be in the, in the right place for Berkeley. And so then you can save that as a template. You can also save it as a library. Like that, save library, Berkeley drums. And when you do that, you would just select the percussion layout. And just save just that and then give it a name, Berkeley layout. And then you could import it into any document. Um, or, and or, uh, you can um, uh, save it a template that you always start with, with the drum setup like that. So that's it in a nutshell.